not, there's nothing better than opening day out at having your whole team together. So um, it was a fun morning. It uh, There's just a really great energy. There has been a really great energy with this group. Um, there's a lot of new faces. There's some, um, but they're really connected. And so they just had a great energy about them today. It was uh, just a really great intent with everything. It was far from perfect, but it was a really good starting point. Um, and then, yeah, there's, you know, the SEC schedule is out, which is just a small glimpse of what our um, overall schedule is going to look like. Um, we've obviously known it for a while. We know that we have quite a lineup, but it's the SEC and that's what we expect. So um, I don't know. Schedule releases mean you're getting closer to season one step closer. So it's been a great day. All right, we'll go ahead and open up the questions. Can I go first? Yep. Hey, hey, Courtney, long time no see. I know. Hi. <laughs> so it looks <laughs> like the, the schedule is pretty much the cupcake schedule. Uh, what, what what do you have to say about the, the new schedule? <laughs> it's far from cupcake. <laughs> uh, I know I was like, just saw, you know, I was kind of going through or meeting um, and I was kind of scrolling through some of like the releases in the comments and someone was like, oh, this is quite the gauntlet. And it's like, yeah, it is. But like what SEC schedule isn't, yeah. you know? Um, and so it's, it's exciting, obviously that SEC schedule overall looks different when you add Oklahoma and Texas, the last year's one and two. Um, but that's why you play in the SEC is to play the best. And, um, so we're excited about our home matchups and we're excited about our road matchups. You know, we like road matchups. So, um, you know, it's SEC, it's what we expect. Getting Oklahoma at home, you know, you're going to get a ginormous crowd there. How 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 do you feel about that? Uh, getting to put that you know that level of softball out there for the young girls here to see and other other people to see because that's as good as it gets. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm really excited that we they're our first um, home SEC matchup, um, and so there's always an excitement around that. Um, and it's, I think we're their first road matchup. So there is always excitement about that. So there's a little bit of fam familiarity with them and it's not a far trip. Um, as far as putting out that level, I think we do with all our SEC matchups. I, I think that we've seen that in, in, uh, the growing fan base and the growing fan base of little girls coming to, to watch softball and the level of softball increasing and improving, um, in the state and, and in our area. So, um yeah I, I I'm excited that that they're they're coming to Vogel um it's going to be a it's going to be a great weekend having so many returning players coming back Bree back Robin here back uh Kendi Miller back all these players back how did they how did they look today when they showed up did they they show up you know in good shape look like you know they're ready to go yeah yeah they uh they're in a good spot we have um our returners you know, a lot of it is just getting their mind fresh and ready to go for a new year. And, and so I, they, they've just, they've been great. We have eight freshmen, we have two transfers, um, and they've gotten them onboarded, uh, as well and as seamlessly as, as can be expected. And so, um, you know, we've thrown a lot of changes at them. They have embraced everything with open arms. And I think that we, we can see the excitement in their faces and, and um, just with their approach that every day. So it's been, it's been so far so good, Chip. So far so good, still early, but we're excited about this group. Awesome, thank you. Uh-huh. Ethan? Hey, Courtney, um, just this time of year, what are the most important things that y'all are trying to get accomplished? Um, I think just getting them connected on the field um, more than anything. I think this early, early time is just kind of seeing where everyone's at and then figuring out how everyone, you know, works together. And obviously um, this is a working time. So there's a lot of fine tuning. There's a lot of developing and, and just making sure that we're working everyone where we need to work them. So, so we can get, um, you know, the best idea of everyone's strengths and, and what is the best for Arkansas softball. But um, this time of year, we do a lot on the field. We do a lot off the field. Um, and just making sure this this group's as as close and and connected as they can be on on both. I'm curious with this team this year. You have a lot of Houston flavor to the team. Just uh, what's that been like? I guess your relationship with uh, a lot of these 
girls have played together uh, growing up and, you know, Bree's from there. They've played in the same travel ball circuits. Just what's that kind of been like having so many that are familiar with each other? Well, it's great when you add that many, you know, new faces, but they're familiar. It's, there's just a sense of being comfort, comfortable, even though like it's something really new. And so um, it's, it's great to add a lot of Houston, you know, Blair, whatever, how, whatever you called it. Um, Brett, I know you're excited about it too, but we've been working really hard to, to get into Texas and, and it's, it was a long, you know, it was a lot of hard work and it was a lot, long time coming. And, and we feel like we have some exceptional athletes from the Houston area and from Texas. And so hopefully they just keep uh, recruiting each other, you know, help us with the recruiting process. And then speaking on one of those, uh, Ella, I know she was part of that, uh, the Team USA. How, what was that, I guess, like to have a player get that type of experience, you know, so early into her career being with you? Yeah, well, Ella got to go and so did Cam Harrison. So um, two freshmen, we have a, a commit in the 25 class. Um, and so it was, it was great experience for them. I, I think it's kind of a, an odd dynamic a little bit because you're so excited to compete for the USA, but you're also so excited to get going in, in your college. And, and so they got here and then they left for like two weeks, a little over two weeks. And so I think for them, you know, I think they were so excited to get to represent USA and to have that experience is something that they'll remember forever. And, and they both excelled so well that hopefully they've, they've really solidified their name in that pool, hopefully moving forward. But um, I know that they had a little bit of FOMO being away from the team. And um, those first two weeks where you're doing just a lot of connection and a lot of stuff, I think they missed that too. So um, there was a sense of, of completeness when they got back, <laughs> you know, it was uh, two big players, but two big personalities that we are missing from our group. And so it just feels right now that they're back. And uh, it gave us something that, you know, we got to cheer for them a little extra harder, just having having those Razorbacks and the red, white, and blue is really special. I didn't mean to leave Cameron off that. Um, last nice. thing I got uh, is, will you talk a little bit about the fall schedule that y'all have, in particular that trip to Tulsa, where y'all are going to play Tulsa and Oklahoma State? Yeah, well, we're excited about the challenge. Um, I think when we really sat down and, and digested all last year, the fall and the spring and everything, it's like, okay, where can – we challenge ourselves, where can we be better? Where, what can we do differently? And so we really just sought out to um, challenge ourselves early, especially with, with, with such a young team with the eight freshmen and the transfers. It's just like, hey, let's really get us, um, you know, like I just keep saying the word challenge, just that, that early challenge, just to see what this team's made of. And so we can make some adjustments and, and uh, it's a really good test for, for the fall. Eric? Coach, good to talk to you once again. A lot of Oklahoma, yeah. Oklahoma State talk here, the state of Oklahoma here <laughs> so far in this chat here. Uh, it's been fun. I want to ask you about, you know, practice. you got so many new faces. How much of focus on the early practices are, is really just get to know the person, uh, each individual, and how they tick, and studying that and them getting to learn you and your staff? How much of that is more, more important than the actual physical practices? Oh, a lot more. I mean, we spend the the first few weeks just doing that. We work, you know, we design our schedule to hopefully accommodate that and help, you know, speed that up because, you know, no matter who you are, whether you're a freshman or a transfer, when you get to a, a new campus, there's a sense of feeling like you need to prove yourself or feeling like, and, and so it, it's, it, we're able to kind of work them through that a little quicker. Um, so we've been um, just working in small groups and then to get to our first team practice today, it was huge because you could see that our newbies were already very comfortable, which means our returners have done an exceptional job. Um, but also they are a, a group that just dove in, like they just dove in and they went for it. And I think that one of the things that I was most impressed with when the freshmen came over for our class dinner, there is not any shyness to them. Like they just like, they're all in, they, they dive head first into everything and uh, they just kind of take care of each other. And, and they've been a, a really, really a cool group to work with, but um, yeah, a huge part of it is just figuring out the individual, figuring out what they need. Um, you know, what, how do we push their buttons? How do we motivate them? And, and all of those things. And uh, so that's, you know, 
that's what we do throughout the fall. I, I think that's always kind of changing. So it's something that we always stay in touch with, but a huge piece of that is in this, this fall. One of the new faces you got, of course, is Kaylee Wyckoff coming in. What was that process like getting to, you know, getting her to come to uh, obviously your place after obviously what she was had done at Texas Tech and, and just getting her to blend in with this, this group? Um, well, it's actually been a really easy transition. You know, it was obviously a pretty intense recruiting process. She was a highly coveted player as she should be with, with the numbers that she's done and what she's, what she's proven at, at Texas tech. Um, the nice thing is we knew her a little bit. She had come to camps and, and also she had played, um, with some of our players from Texas. So she's a really good friend of Cam Harrison's and she played with Ashton. And so it was kind of, uh, leaving no stone unturned when it came to recruiting her and just trying to uh, more than anything, just feel who we are and feel her her place here. Um, and fortunately, she did because she had some really great options. Um, but it's it's been a pretty you know easy transition, I would say. I think she she feels um, very comfortable and very at home. And um, and I, I think that's uh, another big testament to our to our returners and and everyone just making sure everyone's just in the group. So. With with a player like her, uh, her, do you have like envision in your head already how you envision using her in the lineup and things, or is that something you wait till to see how the fall plays out? Um, I think you always are kind of working through those things in your head. I, I envision using her, so that could just end there, period. Um, but I think the thing that's so nice with Kaylee is that um, she really can do multiple things, and so she adds so much more than just you know, her proven bat. It's just her experience. Her She's a veteran, um, but she can play outfield. She can catch. She can do a lot of things for us. And so it allows us to kind of move pieces around or give us depth where we need and so offset some things. And so um, she's just such a huge piece to the puzzle. And so I think coaching wise, you're always doing that, you know, like, okay, what's going to be the best combination? And um, I, I mean, obviously I don't know it today for, for February, but I like what I see with, with this group for sure. Uh, scheduling question, obviously with the SEC schedule, I know that, that you've had a formula that you've used for years. Now you've had adjust with Oklahoma and Texas coming to take us through that process, how that adjustment happened. If it was a big adjustment at all, obviously it's still eight series. And will these co opponents be the same a year from now? Is that still fluid? Like how is this going to work moving forward? I missed a, a middle of your question a little bit. I think it's just like when we're building our schedule, is there a big adjustment to adding Texas and Oklahoma? Well, just from a just from a conference is standpoint, the of it? just from a conference standpoint, how the adjustment in conference, like moving forward, like how will this will this be the same? Will it be different teams well, every year? How it works? It's going to be a little different every year. It's not as clean of a cycle that we've had in the past. Um, you know, we're. Uh, or numbers, we we dive in the numbers. We try to figure out, you know, what's the best for the conference, what's the best for the conference landscape, and then and then, you know, so that was a big piece of it. Um, and so where, you know, we were pretty set on like the eight series is a really good number for us. And uh, you know, we have a conference of really great schedulers and and a really great softball programs that that win a lot. And so um, it was just what's the best for the conference, and the eight was kind of that magic number. Um, and so before where it took three years to, to complete a cycle where you play everyone home away and a bye in a three-year cycle, um, I think it takes seven years now to do a complete cycle. So it's not quite as clean, um, but it is mapped out for, for seven years. So we know what that looks like. Thanks. All right, next question. Justin. I'm up. Um... Uh, Courtney, I want to talk about your your young pitchers that you that you've got in, and I know you're just kind of you've seen them play a lot. And right now, you're kind of in your first days of of leading them and sculpting them yourself. Um, but you do have a young crop. You've got three newbies. Um, t tell me, when you're bringing them in, three pitchers in one class, it's kind of a lot for a recruiting class sometimes. Um, you were comfortable doing that. Tell me how, especially those three, kind of complement one another, and and now that they're bringing bringing to you yeah well I don't think you know three is like the ideal but we don't live in our ideal world you know so it was just kind of how our classes had shifted so we have two juniors and we have three freshmen um and so um it's just the what rounded out our staff the best so 
Um, these three were huge additions to adding to Robin and Reese um, because we really do feel like we have everything that we need in this staff. And so it was, how are we going to round out our staff to where we have all the profiles that we need um, and just how are they going to work together? Um, and I can say early, I feel like what we what we saw in the recruiting process, we're just really excited to see every day and work with. Um, but Cam and Peyton and Lexi have been huge additions. Um, and they do some, each of them do something a little bit different and they just add a ton to, to Robin and Reese and, and their experience and their profiles. So, um, it's great. I, you know, I, I got to have coach Gibson in the, in the bullpen the other day, which very rarely do other coaches seek out bullpen time. So it was nice having her in there. Um, and so at the end I was just like, what do you think? Yeah, we're going to, can we win some games this year? And she's like, dang, yeah they 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 can they can pitch and so um it's just been fun to see their process and it's still really early we have a, a you know quite a few things to work on but um just to see where they're at and then know their competitive level i'm just really excited for this uh, staff of five because there are three freshmen their first time in college classes their first time on the college schedule what does the fall look like? I know the bullpen's your happy place, so I'm sticking there for a minute. What does the fall look like for the three of them? What do you want to get from them in the fall? Is it do you want them to be comfortable? Do you want them to learn to attack? Like, what do you want to come from them in the fall leading into the spring? Well, we need a whole Zoom just for that. No, um, you know, I think it's a little different for each of them. Um, and so it's just kind of like, okay, where are we at? Where can we make that a little better to – create more outs against the top hitters in the game. Cause that's what we're going to face in weekend and, you know, weekend in weekend out. So it's just looking at what they do and where we can make them stronger or maybe more efficient or, um, you know, all of those things so that we can best complement each other, but also give them the best chance to be successful. So it's, um, it's just that development piece of, um, looking at what's gonna, what's gonna play and what's going to be the most effective and, um, and, and moving through that while also making them stronger. It's the first time in a, in a weight program. It's the first time in a conditioning program. And so it's, um, it's kind of going through all of those things when they're managing more with their bodies. Um, and so it's also kind of getting them to understand what they need, um, which a lot of them don't know necessarily when they get here, they've had a lot of decisions made for them. And so it's just getting them to be really in tune with what they need physically and mentally. And, um, and so it's, it's a process it's, and it's different for each of them. It's also different when you're looking at, you know, three freshmen, but one of them was gone for two weeks and really didn't get a break from the summer. And so her workload right now is, is a lot different than Peyton or Lexi's and Peyton and Lexi's is a lot different than Robin and Reese's. And so it's just, uh, you know, just kind of meeting them where they are and then figuring out how to make them their best. Please tell me we're going to, you did. Please tell me we're going to see Peyton swing the bat at some point these next four years. Yeah, you will. Okay, good. <laughs> and, um, <Cam>. and then <laughs> that works too. Um, yeah. I do want to ask you about Kennedy Miller too, um, just because she's coming into this fall just very different from last year. Last year, she was a freshman in that same spot of just getting used to college. This year, she's coming in I mean, she's kind of coming in as the bona fide star already. Um, so what do you need to do in the fall to kind of keep her, you know, set and ready to still be a star, kind of avoid that that dreaded, quote unquote, sophomore slump in the season? That's not a thing. Um, I think for Ken, um, Ken's just really uh, secure in who she is. She's really confident. She is a worker. Um, and so I think for her, it's, um, it's just continuing to stay, you know, who she is. I think she's a, a really good student of the game. I think she's constantly working to fine tune her craft. I think we also have, um, Kaylee, that's going to offset some of that load, but we can obviously have them both hit. And so I think that it is a position where you need to offset some of that physical and mental load. And I think that that started weighing her down a little bit. So I, I, I look at the big picture going, I think she's going to be in an even better place. She has a year under her belt. It wasn't, it was peaks and valleys and then she learned so much. Um, obviously it was a tremendous year, um, but she learned so much. And I, and so now it's just like, how are we going to manage her um, body a little better? Um, and, and just making sure that, um, you know, she's very, uh, 
a huge part of managing that. And she is just so mature and so responsible and um, gosh, I can go on and on, but just having that year under a belt, I think is only going to um, help her this year. Thanks. Ethan. Hey, Courtney, just um, last year, I know, I think that the term you used, you said that Brie Ellis transitioned beautifully into the program. Um, I mean, she had an all American season. What are you now looking for her, you know, as a senior in being really the veteran of the, of the team she's been around college softball for a while. What are you looking from her from a, I guess, a team leadership standpoint? Um, I think that Bree is someone that just radiates confidence. Um, she's just very confident in who she is. She's very confident in her ability. And I think that that's something that you, you hope your, your older ones just like, you know, pour onto your younger ones because it is a different game when you get, it's a different level. And, and so she has done a really good job of, of just one, one connecting with the young ones. She knows them a lot, but they look to her because she's, um, obviously she's an all American and she's a senior, but she also, they, they know who she is. And so she's done a really good job of just relating and connecting with them. I think the thing for Brie is, is she's just last year, best year. You know, like, she's just like, this. Is, I'm going to go for it. Like, there's not going to be one thing that I'm going to regret. And she's going to make sure that she pours everything into making sure that this last year is her best year across the board, not just with herself. And then it feels like Reagan Johnson was coming in as a freshman just yesterday. But now you look up and she's a junior. Just what is the value of having her, you know, again, you know, now with two years of college ball under her belt? Well, it's huge. And I think the thing that we've seen in just the short amount of time this year is just Reagan taking on a lot more of that leadership role and using her voice a lot more. Um, Reagan's incredible. It's just like, she's never someone anyone has to worry about. She does her job. She does it to her best. And, and we've really challenged her to just like, Hey, take others with you. And, and we've seen her do that in this short amount of time. And so um, we know that she's ready for that role and, and she's embraced it and, and she's shown up for it. So I'm really proud of her. Eric, I just want to kind of expand too on what uh, Justin and Ethan were talking about, Coach. You know, you got DJ now in his second year as the hitting coach. There's probably an extra comfort level now at this time for the returners that there wasn't there a year ago that also could help them. Is that you noticed that as well with DJ now in his second year here? Oh yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. I think they know what to expect. I think he knows what to expect, and and so yeah, I I do. I think that they. Um, have uh just a ton of respect for his knowledge and what who he is every day and so um I think yeah it's only gonna continue to get stronger yeah the comfort level but just like how cohesive this this group is um all together throughout the program um we've done a lot of work on it we've done a lot of work through the summer we didn't stop working of just finding ways to to elevate and maximize every area and and that's definitely one. And so I just am really, really pleased and happy with where everyone's at right now. Is he the one or are you the one that's going to send the recommendations to uh, Patty over there as far as where to eat in Arkansas when they get to Arkansas? They're on their own. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave that to DJ. <laughs> Fair. All right. Any more questions, guys? No, that's it. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. you for joining us. Thank you for your time, everybody. Have a great day.